Hey, what's going on, guys? Code Mike Against here. You know, like, I've spent this entire day on experiments and how to scrape data from LinkedIn using the Chrome Developer Tools console. And I came up, I came up with this sort of a script, which I've, I've been writing for this entire day, and now I feel absolutely exhausted, uh, especially regarding some data lake securing along the way but eventually this script seems to crawl through the range of pages regarding some sort of a given uh, request on LinkedIn like this Python developer web scraping so uh, he extracts the links for this guys and then recursively crawls through every link uh, right over in here and trying to uh, extract some data from the profile but as far as the data within the profile is not really available as the HTML selectors but rather uh, lots of JavaScript here uh, which is uh, which is obtained uh, uh, which represents some sort of asynchronous uh, inline uh, uh, data fetches uh, from time to time uh, which uh, did cause some data leaks but ba basically and uh, uh, it was really incredibly hard to to handle this uh, but but eventually all this sort of uh, data script is being parsed uh, to a variable uh, to a set of variables and then out of those variables uh, I did extract the reasonable information and I will now just try to run this and show you how the data how the output is supposed to look like so let me just try to invoke my console and uh, one more thing to consider as far as uh, this sort of a scraper written with the help of jQuery and there is no normal way of importing jQuery to LinkedIn due to the content security policies. That's the reason why we need to go to cdnjQuery.com and then I'm sorry, go, go jQuery.com and then just trying to grab some uh, jQuery code. So just copy this and grab gra uh, and paste and copy and now we want to pay this all in so from now on we can actually uh, use the jquery within this sort of a page and now i'm going to my uh, page source copy all the file here and paste this in hold my breath and hit enter and it starts crawling through the site and uh, those uh, you see like those uh, elements that uh, are scraped uh, quite pretty nicely are just fine but sometimes some data lake securing so in this case uh, that's the reason actually for uh, separating the fetch profile uh, f uh, function here so as far so first we kind of uh, uh, making the request uh, uh, within the range of three pages so right over here you can change the range of pages we're making the request to the target URL and then we're extracting the profile URLs from from the source code and then we're looping over these values and then we're, we're calling this fetch profile uh, uh, method here and in case if this uh, profile uh, con uh, considers uh, if, if it has some data leak it's retrying uh, uh, it's retrying basically so uh, I just need to make it slightly a bit uh, this like beast. So just to make sure that the person variable has been uh, up updated here and it just recursively calls itself with the same profile and with updated with a new person variable, which probably might not be that necessarily needed, but still just for safety and it does this until it succeeds and if it succeeds it sprints the person that is appended to the people list which is right over in here and so let me just try and go there to make sure so uh if uh, numerous data like securing it would be recursively trying to crawl the page until it succeeds basically and eventually Oh, the, well, this happens probably to uh, due to uh, getting banned. Even though I'm doing this within uh, within the web browser, not uh, using the Python or something. Still, uh, this method is not perfect, so I'm not encouraging you guys to follow this method. You can just try this for um, just for curiosity, just to try out your JavaScript web scraping skills or things like that. So, but it's not really that much for production i believe so nevertheless uh we can now have a look at the people's variable here and 
we did manage to scrape 26 guys from LinkedIn and let's try to have a look so some some don't have the first name for some reason most does actually and also there are lots of skills for every single guy so this data set has been extracted from the javascript variables available on the target page and again it's more like a web scraping challenge uh, in the browser console rather than production just to emphasize this one more time and just to make a little disclaimer that uh, I'm not kind of trying to violate the policies of Crawl and LinkedIn because it doesn't really uh, love that and it also asks you to write them uh, to allow you actually to crawl this site but as far as I'm not using some web scrape and uh, I don't know like Python environment or something but I'm just doing this barely from the browser I don't really consider this to be some service terms usage violations because you know like this is just like if I was clicking but instead of clicking I was just writing some code so the very last thing to consider here is just trying to grab just trying to get this uh, get the data out uh, uh, of here basically so we got this people array and let, let me just try to uh, inspect the elements let's uh so we'll, we'll try to append uh, our download link we'll create an append download link to our html tag here so uh let me just try to say so i want to create uh i want to append to html tag dot append it's a bit laggy because there is too much too many data, data there so i want to append a tag and the download attribute equals to let's call this linkedin dot json so i would be storing this data to the json format and just don't forget to close this okay so uh, i really hope that now this uh here should have appeared like well maybe maybe it goes uh, yeah it goes uh, with the very uh, at the very end of the document right over here and now we need to specify uh now we need to select this guy first so uh, i mean a and download and equals to linkedin.json okay and now the attribute of h reference so uh, let's try just some uh, just some test here just to make sure that we did pick up the selector correctly so let me try to see this okay so we did uh, pick it up correctly which means from now on we can uh, provide our download in logic so we need to create a object URL an object URL here so I can say like window dot URL dot create object URL and here uh, I want to create a new blob and uh, the very first element would be I want to say json.stringify and I want to stringify my people array uh, my people list of objects and I will I don't want to replace anything and I also want to provide the indentation equals to two spaces and also I would like to specify the uh, type here so the type uh, would be equal to text okay I guess this is it so let me just try to run this and see if object URL has been created so if you just click this it would download but this would be the file name which is not really what we want to achieve here so in order to get the URL uh, uh, actually we need to say sorry we don't need this anymore okay let me just get rid of this stuff so let's pick up the very first element and we want to click on it and as far as we click we got this linkedin.json file being downloaded and if i open this file you see like all the data that we've just scraped uh, is available in the json format well uh this is basically it for this video guys and uh, thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and learned something interesting out of it if you have any questions regarding the source code and or how it works please feel free to ask them within the commentaries but again uh, uh i want to make this disclaimer one more time at the very end of this video so i'm not really uh, encouraging you guys to scrape linkedin because it violates its policies so just uh just so please just observe this as some sort of 
um, a challenge to improve your web scraping skills and again any requests like uh, teach me to scrape LinkedIn or, or things like that would be rejected by me because that is the violations of the policies of uh, crawling the LinkedIn site so I hope this is clear so this is it from my side again like thanks for watching until the next time and take care